The FK-1 is a modern fighter jet that Taiwan developed to replace its old F-5s and F-104s. The project started in 1982, when the U.S. government banned the sale of the Northrop F-20 and similar fighters to Taiwan. However, the U.S. still allowed technical support, and U.S. aerospace firms worked closely with AIDC to create a native fighter and weapon system. AIDC received help from General Dynamics for airframe, Garrett for propulsion, Westinghouse for radar, and a team led by Smith's Industries for avionics. The Taiwan's FK-1 fighter jet stand out with its impressive dimensions. It has a length of 4.21 meters, a wingspan of 9.46 meters, and a height of 4.42 meters. It has a wing area of 24.2 square meters and an empty weight of 6,500 kilograms. It can carry a load of up to 9,072 kilograms and take off with a maximum weight of 12,000 kilograms. It is powered by two Honeywell F-125-70 engines, which can produce a dry thrust of 27 kilonewtons each and a thrust with afterburner of 42 kilonewtons each. It can reach a maximum speed of Mach 1.8 and fly for a range of 1,100 kilometers. It can fly up to a service ceiling of 16,800 meters and climb at a rate of m 4 seconds. It is armed with a 20 mm M61A1 cannon and various missiles, including two Skysword 1, two Skysword 2, and a Wanchin cluster bomb. It has a GD-53X band pulse Doppler radar, which can scan effectively up to the 39 kilometers in look-down mode and 57 kilometers in look-up mode. The FCK-1's body looks like a mix of FF-16 and FA-18 because it got help from U.S. defense contractors. The cockpit is much like the F-16s, with the side stick controller on the right, the throttles on the left, and the Martin Baker Mac 1200 ejection seat tilted at 30 degrees. It has one Elbit HUD, two Bendix MFDs, and Honeywell H423 inertial navigation system. Allied Signals AI Research Division helped design the environment control system. The canopies on the early aircraft and two-seaters open to the left and are attached on the right, while those on the later single-seat aircraft open upward and are attached on the back. In late 1982, the FCK-1's role changed from a fast interceptor to an air superiority fighter. U.S. engine company Garrett and AIDC invested in the new International Turbine Engine Corporation, ITEC. IDEC redesigned the TFE Tevin 42-7 that powers the IDF into the TFE Dun 42-70, and the investment went up from U1.8 billion to about US 3.2 billion. In 1988, IDEC decided to invest in the 12,000 pound TFE 1088-12, which was renamed as TFE 1042-70A. Early studies showed that IDF could fly faster than sound with the new engine. At the same time, GE decided to join the market with J101 SF, a smaller version of F-404. But after the IDF order was halved from 250 to 130 in 1992, the TFE 1088-12 engine upgrade plan stopped as well. Since then, there are many rumors of AIDC finishing engine upgrade research in secret, but no official announcement of FCK-1 fleet engine upgrade was ever made by either ROCAF or AIDC.